when you're investing money in a house, you have to consider, am I investing money in this house to bring it up to market standards? Or am I investing money in this house to upgrade it and improve it to get top dollar? I'm out of the house. It's the first time that I've been out of the house in I don't know how many days. I, I just don't know how many days. I think the days are running together for everyone. Um, if you haven't seen my last, it's not even my last video. These days are just running together. But I did a COVID-19 real estate market update. In there I mentioned that I had a new listing coming and then I did another video um, with a walkthrough for that property. So I'm actually headed to that property to put out the sign. I need to um, go and get some marketing materials and just um, put that out at that property as well. So that's why I'm getting out. The sun feels great. So yeah, I'm just getting out for that reason. So yeah, come along with me. All right, going to pick up this marketing material. Right, so I got all of my print material and I am just headed to get something very quick from PetSmart and then I'm headed to the house. was sold by net.com associate broker with virtual properties realty here in georgia i'm actually at my new listing i dropped by to bring some marketing materials and to put the sign in the yard there's actually some work um, being done downstairs so i just ran upstairs to shoot this quick a tip I want to give sellers, and I'm sure I'll give it in another video, um, but you should have a property highlight list or an improvement list, some kinds of lists showing buyers improvements that you've done, highlighting upgrades that you've done, um, showing those things. This is one that I'm dropping off here, um, and it has things like uh, the basement was finished, showing what date it was and how much it cost. Um, this seller replaced the carpet with wood floors, replaced the carpet um, with tile in the basement. They got a new roof, a new 50 gallon electric heater was installed. Um, the entire house was repainted and the wood floors refinished. They replaced two HVA systems. They got a new dishwasher. They replaced the um, electric cooktop inserts. So, and they're showing when it was done and um, the cost. Um, so you wanna point out things like that to the buyer because most buyers are just gonna walk through and oh, it's a nice house. But you wanna show that you've taken care of the house and show why you're asking the price that you're asking and show why this is going to be a great investment for them. So that is the tip that I have there. Um, and also for sellers, know that when you invest money in your house, you don't always get it back dollar for dollar. Why do I say that? Because when you invest money in your house, sometimes you're investing to bring it back to market value. Over time, a house has wear and tear. So when you're investing money, let's say the carpet looked really bad and you needed to change that out. Yes, you invested money to do that, but you really needed to do it anyway because the carpet looked bad, okay? Now, if you upgraded and you put in wood flooring, that's an upgrade. But if you replace the carpet, yeah, you might get a little brownie points because you put in new carpet, but at the end of the day, you needed to replace the carpet anyway. When you're investing money in a house, you have to consider Am I investing money in this house to bring it up to market standards? Or am I investing money in this house to upgrade it and renovate it and improve it to get 
top dollar for the house. Quick video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment box below. Reach out to me. And yes, have a positive, peaceful, and productive day. I'm going to get out of here.